what's up family welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i'm out here in the morning taking my daily morning walk because i truly believe that true wealth is your health and um it's just being a good steward of your body that god has given you but i had a thought and i, I thought about this watching uh the game yesterday and that thought was you're not too old when I talk to people one-on-one -on -one, and you know, when I coach them sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, they'll say a statement like, well, I wish I would've did that when I was younger or I wish I would've accomplished that in my 20s or my 30s. And I have to always tell them, listen, it's never too late. It's never too late. When God came to Sarah and told her, hey, listen, you're gonna bear a child but you're gonna be old when you bear this child. You know, according to biology, it was impossible. But she had a child well past childbearing years. And I think that God gave us that example to show us that it's never too late. No matter what society says, no, see, God determines your race, and but God also determines the pace. Nobody gets to determine how where you go and how fast you get there but god so just because like so that's why it bothers me when people say well by 30 every man should have this by 20 every person should be at this spot well according to who is that according to american standards or is is that according to god's standard god determines the race but god also determines the pace and how fast or slow we get there. So I was just encouraged watching a different sport, sporting events because, you know, I'll see coaches who are in their 70s, sometimes in their 80s, you know, coaches like Bill Belichick and, and just different people who, Nick Saban, they're in their 70s, but they're making the most money that they ever have in their entire life. Their, their highest grossing financial years is actually in their 70s and that's inspiring to me when i see lebron james who's two years away from 40 years old still in the playoffs playing against 20 some year olds when i see tom brady who was you know 44 45 and and, and out there competing at a high level those things inspire me because it showed me that as you get older you can get better as you get older, you can be more refined. You just, you can become more of an expert in your craft. And even from a spiritual perspective, the older I get, the better I get spiritually, the closer I get to God, because it's, it's some experiences I've had in my life that I've learned and that I've grew into becoming, but it all came with getting older and age and wisdom and things like that. Even when you think about presidents, they're all old. Like. <laughs> you know, I think Biden is close to 80. He may even be 80. Trump before that in his 70s. And what does that show you? They run the most powerful country in the world while they're in their 70s. So I want you to know that maybe you feel like you missed out on some opportunities. Maybe you feel like it's too late for you to go back to school. It's too late for you to have what you thought you could have. But man, I'm here to encourage you. It's never too late. It's never too late. You know, the Bible calls God a redeemer of time. And so what that means is that he don't give you more time, but he go do so much in the time you got left <laughs> that you're going to just be blown away, man. So I'm encouraged today. Sometimes I get in a rush and sometimes I feel like I'm behind on certain things. But God reminded me today when I was taking my walk that Larry is never too late. I can still do it through your life. Have an awesome day, guys.